Now, back to the WPRO Morning News with Tara Granahan and Andrew Gobeal on News Talk 630 WPRO and 99.7 FM. Welcome back. It's 741 on a rainy Friday morning. Your complete weekend forecast coming up in just a few moments. Well, we now know the name of the family, and it's fairly well known, the Alquist family, that uh, young Jessica Alquist, actually she came on our show a long time ago and uh, as a young girl, and she was upset with the Cranston Prayer Banner. Then we moved on. Some other atheist groups were upset with the Woonsocket War Memorial. Now, yesterday being... National Prayer Day, Stephen Alquist, who is the uncle of Jessica Alquist, says he's upset about that and he calls it un-American and blasphemous. Good morning, Stephen Alquist. Good morning, sir. You've written some uh, very straightforward and uh, very serious articles about the National Day of Prayer. Why are you offended by that? Well, I'm not offended by prayer, but I am against state-endorsed prayer. I think that when President Obama and Governor Casey suggest religious rituals, to all Americans, um, it's not their place. They're politicians, not religious leaders, and I don't think the government should be issuing decrees that that same religious days like National Day of Prayer. But when they just say it's the National Day of Prayer, that's not really forcing you to pray. No, it doesn't force people to pray any more than um, the monarchy in England, um, pre-revolutionary war, was forcing everyone to be a member of the Church of England. But you knew what to do if it was good for you. And you're, you're a writer, Steve. Um, do you do you make a living off of writing? Um, not much of one, but yes, I try. <laughs> and so when you write these articles, you know, you say uh, there have been studies about prayer, it doesn't work, and you quote what Roger Williams, uh, the founder of Rhode Island, is saying, forced worship stinks in God's nostrils. Are you right. just trying to inflame some issues to try to get a little of attention, or do you really believe this? Oh, no, I really believe this, and more than that, I mean, it's not about attention, because really the, the writing that I do is really, I mean, the blog I write for, I mean, it's popular, but it's not huge. I mean, it's nowhere near as big as, like, the radio station, for instance. And uh, I, I really just want to make sure there's an opinion out there that says that when President Obama issues a decree, he's issuing it for all Americans, not just religious Americans. And I think it's important that non-religious Americans and also religious Americans who do not agree with the idea of faith, faith, and prayer should all be, have their voice in there. I mean, you know, if a bunch of churches want to get together and have a National Day of Prayer, I will fight for their right to do so. But I do not like the idea of the governor or the president saying, I think it's a good idea everybody gets praying today. Because it, it just means he's give up. At 744, oh, hang on one second, I just want to reintroduce you so people know your voice. Steve Alquist, who is the uncle of Jessica Alquist, who uh, went out and, and rallied to take down the uh, prayer banner at Cranston West High School. What's the latest with Jessica? She's still at Cranston West? Um, as far as I know, she's doing fine. Yeah, she's um, still, 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 still working. I mean, she's still doing her stuff. So, uh, you know, as far as I know, everything's great over there. And the Freedom From Religion Foundation and other atheist groups that raised money for her, how much money did she pocket from um, Prayer Banner? Well, I, I, I read reports of 62000 which is, um, as far as I know, fairly accurate. Yeah. And do you work with the Freedom From Religion Foundation? No, they, they we, we had nothing to do with the, our family has nothing to do with them other than that they came in as an ally in the case, because that's what I guess is near wheelhouse. But uh, that, we, we never contacted them or really had much awareness of them before the case. Did they ask you to get involved with the Woonsocket Memorial? No, in fact, they surprised us as much as they surprised everybody in Rhode Island with that announcement. And uh, we were, I have to say, I was completely off guard. And when we started to think about it as a group, because I'm actually with the community of Rhode Island, um, when we started to talk about it as a group, you know, our group was also split, across, uh, split on the issue. So we're unable to take a position on it as a group on the Woonsocket Cross because some feel that it's, uh, constitutional, some feel that isn't, and as a whole, we're just kind of going to see how it plays out in one socket and uh, hope that it's the work. Now, the person has not come forward who filed the complaint about the one socket cross. Do you know who it is? Oh, no. It's, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm, I live in Providence, and um, I don't, I get to one socket occasionally on business, but I don't live up there. And I, I have distant family up there on my mother's side, but nobody, uh, nobody I know is. So to the best of your knowledge, this uh, uh, unidentified person who filed the complaint, uh, your your brother, Jessica's father, is a firefighter, and this cross happens to be sitting on a firefighter's piece of land. Right. They, they are not involved, your family. No, in fact, my brother was in the Kansas Pat recently as an interview saying that he supports the cross being there. Um, he feels it's a different case. It's one thing he feels to have prayer in school. It's an entirely different thing to 
have um, a memorial on public land, and he's of the struggle to him that say, again, this is the type of thing, I mean, it's a divisive issue, and it's not something that, as a group, I mean, we don't, you know, as humanists or free thinkers, we don't take our marching orders on high. We make our own decisions, and when we get together as a group, we're going to have disagreements just like any other group, and then that's one way to divide. This is not um, an open expectation to want to stop the fraud. All right, Stephen Alquist, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. From the Pride Hyundai of Seacock, right now, traffic center is brought to you.